Hey everyone, I just arrived in San Antonio and my first stop here is Lagos Buka. This is a West African Nigerian restaurant and Larry's sitting next to me. Him and his wife Nikki run this place and I've come here to try a few dishes. So how you doing Larry? I'm good. Good? good. So um, I want to show everyone a couple of these dishes. So this is a jollof rice with goat meat. And what can you tell us about this dish? Well, this is African meal uh, from uh, West Africa, jollof fries. Most people from Nigeria love this. They love to eat this most times. Okay. And I'm sure you're trying this for the first time? No, I tried it at an African food festival in Brooklyn. Oh, okay. In the bed neighborhood in Brooklyn, okay. I've tried it. It's always good to try uh, meals, African meals at different places so that you can feel the different, you know, different tastes. Okay, um, why is, uh, what is the sauce or the, how do you, how is this prepared? Like I'm asking, why is the rice, it's like, it has a reddish the, tint to it. Ah, uh, you know, uh, uh, we had pepper, tomatoes, uh, you know, Africans, we love food being spicy. You yes. The, like the one you have right now. a little bit of spice. Exactly, but not too crazy, right? No, the pepper soup is hotter, right? Oh, oh, yeah, you're right. We have to make it in such a way that it will be mild so that everyone can, you know. Everyone can enjoy it. it? Yeah, so everyone can enjoy it, you know. Okay, so um, I took a little bite of it. Okay. I definitely taste the pepper. Oh, the, it good. kind of, um, it's a much stronger taste than the tomato. And I want to ask you, Zobo, proudly Nigerian. Yeah, is this you a know, popular uh, drink? Yeah, sure. You know, they okay. nearly started these two in Africa too, so we have it in for people's enjoyment too. <laughs> okay, um, a little hibiscus. You say what? It's like have a little bit of a hibiscus, like a uh, kind of flavor. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I got you. You know, the way Zobo is made, like the local Zobo back home in Africa. The way it's made is quite different. I think um, the way uh, the company now, you know, they went about it, you know, doing the argumentation, looking for some differences and something, they came up with this, you know, uh, it's called uh, Zobo Schwerps. I'm not advertising for them anyway. <laughs> okay. they, they came up with Zobo Schwerps, you know, so that at least people can, you know, have a different thing. Something like Zobo, but is a little bit different, you know, in a Schwerps way. Now, I've been to maybe a handful of West African restaurants over mm -hmm. the past few years. Okay. And I notice every place uh, any, with any connection in Nigeria has meat okay. pies. Uh -huh. So these are really big. Is this a typical size of a meat pie? Uh, yes, meat pie can come in different uh, sizes. Okay. Uh, like uh, the way we have this, we make the, you know, people, you know, people like when they eat some and they can call it a meal. Like this meat pie is very big. Yeah, yeah. You can you might not be able to finish a whole pie. <laughs> you understand? Okay. If you have half of this, you know, with a drink, you should be you should be okay for the day. And is this <laughs> potato inside? Uh, yeah, there's potato. There's you know meat. You know minced meat. You know. Beef, right? Right. Okay. You know the the beef is minced. You understand? So that's why you have it that way. Okay, so we have um, one more thing here. Okay. This is pounded yam, is it fufu? -fu? <laughs> yeah, you know, we, people call it, we call it fufu -fu here. <laughs> so people love it so much uh, with uh, uh, this uh, favorite uh, soup called igusi. Okay, and this I have had before. Uh -huh. So this is beef, um, but what is the uh, yellowish? Uh, that's the igusi. So this is a goosey, yeah, and is you know, that like a with vegetable? Palm oil, you know, you know that red oil people call red oil, you know. Okay. Yeah. So is this always served uh, yeah. wrapped in plastic? Yeah, it's wrapped uh, in a plastic. You know, we're, uh, you know, uh, yeah, you know. So you take it off, then you know you you know you use your bare hands. <laughs> to right. Eat so it. you should never be eating this with a fork and a knife. Oh well, we have to respect our culture, so it's always good you have it with your 
with your beer hands. <laughs> okay. Now, I took a while. I didn't unwrap it right away, so it's really okay. hot. But okay. you tell me if I have exactly. this right. I, yeah, you, you're right. The way, you, the way you're holding it, you're right very right. Hands. Absolutely. And then I just kind of run it through here. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. So how was it? Mm hmm How does it taste? Good. Um, mm -hmm. So this is like... Um, what is the, where does the red come from here? Is this cooked with tomato as well? What, what do you say? The red um, in this agusi, is it from tomato? Uh, uh, no, you know, we have the, you know, we have tomatoes, we have the <coughs> bell pepper, okay. and we have I the uh, 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 alpino. Jalapeno? Uh, yeah, you know, there's where everything is, uh, you know, mixed together, you know, everything is blended, you know, as one, then, you know, to make the soup happen. <laughs> okay, so we have three popular things here. This is the menu, by the way. Um, they have soups on one side. It does okay. Greens and appetizers. Uh -huh. So another popular thing, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, the pepper soup and the suya are two other spicier things than we have. <laughs> Absolutely. What, what is your preference, like between suya, pepper soup, and the things that are in front of us? Do you have a preference, Larry? Oh, uh, well, uh, I prefer pepper soup, mostly okay. fish pepper soup. Fish pepper soup. Even uh, most of my friends, uh, they know that I love fish. So I always love fish pepper soup. And here you serve tilapia and mackerel, right? Oh, right. Okay, got it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so thank you very much. Uh, we're gonna finish this food. Um, this is a West <laughs> African spot. It's not too far from the airport where I just flew into. And um, thank you very much. You're welcome. And cheers.